So, let's see. <laughs> what is the first, the big vein that comes out of the top of the heart? Uh, remember, this is the one that comes out of the top of your heart. It goes to your up. Anything above the heart? The superior vena cava. Okay. So <laughs> that's our superior vena cava right here. Okay. So you can see where it comes out of the top. Right here. Oh my God, that's so cool. Okay. Come back. Let me see. All right. Now we have where it branches off. We have. The two um, brachiocephalic, where we get it, where it branches off here and here. We have okay. the right one, which is going to the cat's right side. The left, that's going to the cat's left side. And I think all their stuff on is better on the right side, so we'll go through the right side. Okay. Okay. The jugulars, let me see, comes up through here. You can see it kind of eventually, you can see here, it's going to go up through the neck. Okay. And then... You have where it branches off here to go to the arm. You have the subclavin, which is the first part. Let me see. I don't think they, whether mm -hmm. or not they separated off. Uh, yeah, they did. Yeah. Subclavin would be coming off here. And I don't know why they have two here. Let me see. I'm not really familiar with this cat. cat. The cat needs lots of blood. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this cat is gigantic. Okay, but let's go ahead and do the one that's off the jugular first. So the jugular is coming up here through the neck. That's the upper one, and coming off the jugular here is the transverse scapular. So you can see right here. Okay. And that's going to go back around to the shoulder. The scapular, you know, scapula, shoulder. It's right here, and then just like I said, jugular here. Okay. Okay. Uh, from there. Okay, so for, as far as like uh, the ones going to the arm, it's best just to memorize the order. The subclavin will be where it first comes off, so that's yeah where the brachiocephalic ends, where it's going off toward the bottom, would be the subclavin. And then kind of closer in where the armpit would be, maybe it's better on this side. Not really. So kind of coming off here toward the armpit would be uh, the auxiliary, because remember auxiliary is always associated with the armpit. And I'm trying to see if they have cut it far enough to really see the brachial. But the one that's going to be most lateral coming off uh, from uh, the brachiocephalic continuing on toward the arm is going to be the brachial. So I don't know if we can really see it that well on this cat. It's kind of lame. They actually have another uh, upper veins cat. Maybe we can check him and see if he looks better for that. I think that's pretty much all we have in here. Okay. But yeah, like I said, it's best to me memorize order. Superior true. vena cava is going to be the one that's closest to the heart. Brachiocephalic is where it branches off. Oh. Okay, from the superior vena cava. Subclavin is going to be the the bottom mm -hmm. where it branches off. The where it comes off from the top, it goes up near the neck. It's going to be the external jugular, where it kind of comes off from branches off from the external jugular, going more lateral. Is going to be the transverse scapular. This would be the right transverse scapular because you know it's on the right hand side. Where it's kind of near the armpit, which I would call it right through here, would be auxiliary. And as far as brachial, it would be you know further off, closer to the arm. But this guy just doesn't show it that well. All right. So let's see. Let me see what other cats they got over there. Do I don't want to do digestive on him. He looks pretty nasty in that. Veins only. Okay, so right at the top, where it comes out of the heart, is the, which one's that? Right at the top of the heart? Common? The aorta, right? It's the first oh. one that comes out of the heart. Oh. Oh. Yeah, so I'm, it's very easy to forget, like, the, those, the, the ones that, you know, like the inferior vena cave and the superior vena cave and the aorta, because you kind of just skip over them. You don't even think, that, think about them being vessels, but they are, and they're there. Okay. And let's see. It's always a little hard to see, but where we had the brachiocephalic branch off at the same point, like they make a Y, right. they don't do that in the arteries. The first one, the th thoracic aorta, is going to come off toward the bottom, and you don't. You only have one brachiocephalic. You don't have like a left and a right. You just have one, okay, which the brachiocephalic will come up through here. And coming off the aortic arch, you have two things. You have the brachiocephalic, which is, like I said, the easy one that's right up at the top. 
and then you have the left subclavian, which comes off here, off of the aorta, okay? So it actually branches off right here. See what I'm talking about? Uh -huh. And so that would be the brachiocephalic, okay? All right, and then we have, coming off the brachiocephalic, you have uh, the common carotoids, which come on either side of the trachea. You can see the one here, coming up here. The carotids, I don't know why I say carotoids, but they're the carotids. So if you ever heard anybody talked about the carotid artery and how you know it's in your neck, they come on either side of the trachea. Here's one here, the other one comes through here. Okay. okay. And his left side is kind of cut up. Yeah, I'll probably have to find another cat when we do our test. All right, but then you kind of have the same sort of thing with the subclavins on with the arteries and the veins. Like the first part, where it branches off, should be right here, be the right subclavin. And it looks like his other ones were cut, but if it were getting through the armpit, like through this area, it would be auxiliary. And then where it come up through the arm, it'd be brachial. I'm just, let me see. I don't think his other side is much better. It's kind of a shame. But like I said, I'll only label things if they're easy to see. I'm not going to, like, you know, I'm not trying to mess anybody over here. So, but I always remember the carotids come on either side of the trachea. Okay. Okay. Subclavin will be the first part where it branches off in the armpits, auxiliary, mm -hmm. and closer to the arm is brachial. Okay. But like I said, the thing that's confusing on here is, like I said, you only have one brachiocephalic, which is, you know, coming up through here. And then your left, left subclavin comes directly off your aorta. So it comes off right here. And then right up here, I guess, would be kind of where his auxiliary would be because you're getting close to the armpit. And then, let me see. Yeah, probably coming off through here would be where you'd find his brachial coming into his arm, but kind of not that great. Does anybody want me to go over, like, digestive system or anything? Um, I think most people probably know that at this point, but if not, and you're ashamed to say or whatever, you can tell me. You can wait till after class and you come and... You can go over it. Okay. This guy's not bad, the best for digestive because he's not cut, but I'm going to pull out one of our lower cats and do the lower veins and the lower arteries. So let's see, lower veins. So the big one running all the way from the top is the inferior vena cava, okay. which is the whole stretch here. Now you have a couple things to know coming off the inferior vena cava. So let's see, the diaphragm's right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have two that you have to know coming off of the, the like the middle portion, portion of the inferior vena cava. You have the uh, adrenal lumbars, which are up above, and they're a little hard to see. Okay, yeah, so here's the adrenal lumbars, and they come up. You remember your adrenal glands on top of your kidney, right? Mm -hmm. So that's branching off here. And then you have the renals, which are going to the kidney, which comes here. Okay, so the upper one, adrenal lumbar. Lower one going into the kidney is the renal. Okay. All right, so that's not too bad, as long as you know where your adrenal gland is and you know where... Your kidney is. You should probably sh should probably be able to remember it. Okay. As you go down, you get the first branching of a uh, off of the inferior or the first like you know forking off the uh, inferior vena cava, and you have here we go the left uh, you know external iliac and the right external iliac, and we kind of just cleared it for the left hand side so you can see right here. Here's the left external iliac. And then coming off of that, you have the internal iliacs, which you can only really see the beginning of the internal iliac here, because he's got all this connective tissue, but you can see it kind of goes off to the inside, so that's how it's, that's how you know it's right or left internal iliac, where this is the right external, okay, or the left external.